at Remco Koopman's tweets at Patrick Norton. Could you guys go a little more in depth on how you use services like KeePass to keep your passwords in order? Yes, yes we can. And we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> hey, first thing you wanna do is to pick one. It really doesn't matter much which one because they all offer basically the same set of features. I use KeePass, so we're gonna show that off. Uh, some other ones out there I'll just quickly mention would be like programs like 1Password. Uh, I find this is really popular for the Apple users out there. LastPass, another really popular one. RoboForm, same story, but I'm here to talk about KeePass because it's what I use. And when it comes to your online security, using a strong, unique password makes it more difficult for potential attackers to compromise your online accounts. And if you're avoiding the use of long, complex passwords, with your favorite web services because uh, you think it's a hassle, it's time to try a password manager program. And basically, a tip for everyone out there, if you have a spyware encrusted PC or you're uncertain of it, uh, it may be capturing every keystroke you're typing anyway and you wanna start with a clean system if there's any doubt at all. Let's just dive right in. Here's the website itself, uh, you can check it out. Now, when you first open a password manager, it's gonna ask you for, dun -da -da -da, your master password. This is the one password you do have to remember, and you want it to be fairly difficult. So come up with something that's pretty complex, change it at least once a year, or anytime you think there's a problem. And you basically, here, I'll put in my, uh, what is my password? Doot, doot. Hopefully that's it. And boom, here's my password manager with all my logins for a bajillion different sites out there that I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've used and do use regularly. Now, why I like KeePass, uh, one, it's free open source software. They regularly update this application. It uses strong encryption for the database file, and it's, it also includes some mobile clients, some free, some paid, and you can use it in conjunction with Dropbox for password file syncing across different devices like your computer, your notebook, your mobile device. Using on a desktop and say like my laptop at, or whenever I'm around, I have a plugin basically built into the browser and I can actually pull that up real quick. Ah, oh, just there's a plugin in here that let me just go to settings real quick. Boop. And under extensions, I've actually added an extension to make this a whole lot easier for me. It's this, this one happens to be called Chrome iPass and it's integrated with uh, the KeePass technology that's also installed. This just makes it super simple to basically, as I go to a web page, and if that info is already in LastPass, it will just automatically enter it in the password and username fields. And I can actually show that in action here with a website I frequent once in a while called Tim's, let me go there, berkeley.edu. Great site if you wanna look at transportation accidents. But you may not have noticed, but right here up at the top, it actually filled in my username and password for me automatically. Uh, there is nothing stored in the browser and it makes it very nice that way where I don't have to go look up something or manually do it, although you can manually do it right through the program itself. Now, KeePass will offer to generate a password and the entry into its database if it doesn't find a match to the site you are visiting. If, you manually, if you're gonna be manually adding logins though, be sure to include the base URL. Now, here I'm gonna show on this. Here's an example of the, the application in the background, a lot of my stuff right there, but here is, if you're gonna do a manual entry, we'll just say like it's this website. The password generator, you can actually take a look at what random password it's come up with. If you feel that's too long or short or not complex enough, you can actually go in and open the password generator, which is pretty cool actually. Crank this sucker up to as high as the website will support, say like a 70 character password for your Google account if you're doing such things. If it supports all of these characters, use them because you're not gonna be typing in this madness. If you really wanna go crazy, do this checkbox here called collect additional entropy and what that will do is provide this screen, which allows you to then scribble around on the noise field here to generate some additional, well, basically random bits. Or you can actually put the keys in here and just start punching away randomly at that. But once that's done, click, you end up with your crazy password right there. If you wanna look at it, there it is. There is no way in heck I want to try to type that into anything. That's why I'm using a, a password manager that will do that. However, uh, down here at the URL though, the last part I really wanna mention on this is that when you go to type in that site, skip the HTTP part, any trailing slashes, just put the, the website.com, for example. And once that's there, if it ever you're ever on that site and there's a password username field, it's just gonna enter that information automatically. And of course, if that's not the username you need, you put in either your email address or whatever it might be. Pretty cool stuff. Also. Take advantage of the password generator's capabilities. Look at the website and find out how many characters they allow for their passwords, what character sets are used. Use them all that are available. 
And if you come across sites that are pretty weak in terms of you know, short passwords, few character sets, maybe upper or lowercase uh, letters with numbers, ask them to maybe change it or see if they'd be considering, uh, considering a change to that. And once you're comfortable with your password manager, erase any stored passwords in the web browser and stop using it for password storage. Also, stop checking the Remember Me checkbox you'll find on many password fields, uh, right below the password fields on your favorite websites. Now on the mobile side of things, app install is pretty easy and the setup's pretty easy actually. You just get the app installed on your mobile device. If you're using Dropbox, you go to that folder and select the database file. It should load it up automatically. And also I'll just say for the main interface for, for uh, KeePass itself, I don't really use any of the sorting functions like where I could have stuff for email clients, financial, gaming, shopping. You could, you could create as many as you want. I'm using just one long list of everything and that's the way I like it. And here's one, just one example really of a type of program that can really not only help make your web use easier, but it also protects what you're doing online. And if, if, if a website gets compromised and they get your, get your login info basically, you can easily change just that one site knowing that it's not going to compromise any of your other logins. And with that, let's take a moment here to thank one of our sponsors. Starting August 14th to September 2nd, law enforcement agencies across the country are joining forces to crack down on impaired drivers during the Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign. It's there to save lives. Driving while impaired is illegal, stupid, and selfish. In driving crashes where blood alcohol level of .08 or higher, there is an average of one fatality every 51 minutes. And holidays like Labor Day weekend can be deadlier. Over the 2010 Labor Day weekend, 147 people were killed in crashes involving drivers or motorcycles cycle riders with blood alcohol content of 0.08 or higher. Even if there isn't a crash, people who are caught driving impaired often face jail time, loss of their driver's license, and numerous financial consequences, such as attorney fees, higher insurance rates, court costs, lost time at work, and the potential loss of your job. Please find a designated driver, call a taxi, or just stay put if you've been drinking. Law enforcement is cracking down now and throughout the year. If you are caught driving while impaired, you will be arrested. No warnings, no excuses.